I don't know if y'all want to see and hear this. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and welcome to my channel. Appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my channel and check out the videos I put out there. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed up here and down here, all right? Really appreciate it if you did that. Also, hitting that thumbs up button continuously allow you to have recommendations from my channel. So if you would hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. All right, we got to get ready into this. And to my Russian listeners, and I know y'all, I have people listening to me all over the world. I want to say to you, privia kakjela, all right? Woo, y'all. Let me give a warning here. This definitely is not for children. Viewer discretion is advised when it comes to your ears, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, when it comes to your ears, because, whoo, yikes. <laughs> you heard what I said earlier. Man, 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 this is crazy is what that means, okay? Y'all, if you don't know, Russia had a terrorist attack. They had a terrorist attack. And apparently ISIS came out and was... The ones who said that they are the cause of this. They are the reason. And let me give you a fair warning. Right now, this is not suitable for children, what I'm going to tell y'all, what I'm getting ready to say. I also want to make a disclaimer. You too, I in no way am promoting any type of terrorist organizations. Terrorist organizations are evil. They are wrong. They are bad. I'm not promoting any type of violence or condoning any terrorist attacks. I'm not condoning anything this is all for informational purposes, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, what I wanted to talk to y'all about is what the aftermath or, or what the retaliation, per se, of what Russia did to the terrorists. And y'all may not like this, but to an extent, I'm with the Russians on what they did. What did they do, Ty? <laughs> oh, my God. What did they do? Russian forces torture Moscow terror suspect by hooking his genitals up to a 80-volt battery, leaving him foaming at the mouth, and feed and fed, or it says, and feed another his own ear. Battered men appear in court as new footage emerges of the slaughter that deleted at least 40 people. Holy smoky dokey, okey rokey pokey. Y'all. <laughs> Woo. Y'all reading that right? Y'all, 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 y'all hooking the genitals up to an 80 volt battery. Feed a, one his own ear. Y'all, this is God dang. This is crazy. Selena Gomez, what the heck is that all about? Let me see if I can push this, pull this up. Russian forces torture Moscow terror suspect by y'all. I just read that to you guys. I'm not about to read it again. Footage of Russian forces torturing men they arrested over the Moscow terror attack emerged tonight with one man giving electric shots to his genitals and a second forced to eat his own ear. One image shows a suspect named Shamuzdin Fedadun foaming at the mouth as he lies on a gym floor with his trousers pulled down and wires attached to his growing area. At the other end, they are attached to a military radio powered by an 80 volt battery. Separate video sees another man, Sarkrama Marudali Rachabazoda, having his ears severed and then spitting it out as he's forced to eat it. I'm not about to show this, y'all. I'm going to read this off. I'm not about to get no copyright strike. YouTube, I'm not showing no graphic images or anything like that whatsoever. Even though they have it blurred out, I'm not about to play no games and take that L. I'm not about to. Okay, I'll read the rest of this off. And the reason why I'm going to read it off and not show you guys because I can get in trouble for that. Wait a minute. No, oh, but uh-uh-uh. Oh, poor Kate. Get away from this. 
Two suspects are among the four men detained in Western Russia after Friday's terror attack on packed Moscow concert hall that left at least 140 people dead. All four appeared in court in Russian capital tonight where and were paraded showing cuts and bruises as the authorities attempt to deliver a message to the shocked nation. Y'all may not agree with this. Man, man, man. Can you imagine? I'm going to leave it right there. Because y'all probably know where I'm going with this, don't y'all? Y'all know where I'm going with this. Woo! Again, it says, all four appeared in court in Russia, capital tonight, and were paraded showing cuts and bruises as the authorities attempt to deliver a message to the shocked nation. News footage filed inside the Crocus City Hall venue in Krosnoskros also emerged tonight showing people running and, and cowering behind tables as the gunmen Open fire in the main lobby of the building. People can be heard screaming as continuous bullets break through glass doors and mow down victims in what was the deadliest attack on Russia in years. Y'all, some of these photographs on here. If you want to go look at it, go look it up at um, the DailyMail.com. Go look it up at the DailyMail.com. There's some crazy footage right here. Man, let me see if I can show y'all this one real quick. Look at this building. Look at that. Man. Holy smokes. And it says right here, the terrorist attack during the concert in Moscow, Crocus City Hall, left more than 140 dead, over 100 wounded. That is crazy. Yeah, Russia ain't playing with this. They got these people on full display. Holy smokes, y'all. Some of these pictures are crazy. The four suspected terrorists, who have been photographed and named in the Russian media were seen arriving in an unmarked white van before they entered the concert hall at around 8 p.m. Photographs show suspects with a bandage strapped to his, to his severed ear as he sits behind a glass wall in Bosmany District Court in Moscow. Any confessions made after such forms of torture cannot be treated as reliable. Videos previously emerged on social media of the suspects being arrested with one shaking on his knees and apparently confessing to carrying out the attack. It appears that the barbaric treatment of these suspects is being deliberately leaked to media as today's pictures were released to Telegram channels sympathetic to the security services. A Telegram channel linked to Wagner paramilitary force said the picture of Faridun shows how an ordinary interrogation takes place using a military field telephone in common tapique. By turning the coil... Discharges are released through the wires up to 80 volts, which in turn are connected to the prisoner by the fingers, ears, or genitals. For the best effect, the captured militant should be poured with water. <laughs> Shoot! The photo follows an incident when one of the suspect ears was cut off on camera with a knife and when he was detained in, the, in this region on Sunday. The video shows... Russian agent trying to force a suspect to eat his own ear, which he's end up spitting out. In another video, the same suspect has his head bandaged and his face is covered in blood. The favored method of disposing of traitors by Wagner, headed by former Putin crony, was with a sledgehammer to the head, videos of which were also released. Human rights groups, which highlights widespread torture of Putin's jail, said... For more than 10 years, we have been consistently exposing torture and its systemic nature in Russia. Bro, Russia is on some barbaric stuff. And ah, y'all, you, you I, I, <laughs> it is obvious that sanctions for these tortures as well as for the torture of Ukrainian prisoners are given from the very top. The same as with blank using a sledgehammer, an executioner of the will of the murderer and dictator Vladimir Putin. If there is if there is all the evidence and it has been collected, why should the FSB torture the Tajiks so that they can take blame for the voice of this version convenient for Putin? I don't know what this even means. y'all. This only makes sense. This coincides with a warning from the U.S. and U.K. embassies in Moscow about the imminent threat of a strike on a crowd in crowded ven venue. Ferdinand was seen on his knees after being detained in Brasic region on Saturday. Exiled journalist Dmitry Kolovez, editor of the Republic Media, said the Russian security forces are leaking photos showing that detained terrorist attack suspects are being tortured with electric shocks and tying wires to their 
here they boy they really want to push home this electric shock to the dingling woo i have no doubt that after this there would be emissions that the order to delete people and crockets was given to them personally by Zelensky. torture is torture is unfortunately commonplace what is unusual here is that the security forces used to bashfully hide this, but now they are proud of it, and apparently they themselves release photographs of torture to friendly telegram channels. Man, y'all, y'all have to go check this out. So, the reason why I said what I said at the beginning, I told you guys, y'all, what would happen? What would happen if you knew, if you knew as a criminal, if you knew as a criminal, if you knew that something like this would happen, you think that the crime rates will go down. If you knew that if you committed crimes and you were going to be made a public showing like way back when, when they had public hangings. Do you guys think that crime would change? Do you think that criminals would think twice about what they're doing? Some of you would say yes. Some of you would say no. You guys all, this, this, is, this is arguable. If America had sanctions and laws in place to where when you commit certain crimes, that this type of torture that I just read up to you guys would happen to them, do you think that would make them think twice? Knowing now I'm not now terrorists are this that's crazy. That's the, the, to me the terror terrorism is absolutely heinous. It's terrible. It's crazy. But to me, if you are a criminal that robbed somebody, that sexually assaulted somebody, you done things to kids, you you strong, you I mean you 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 rob someone at gunpoint, any of those things, you are a terrorist. I know we all look at terrorists as black 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 and they blow them. No, no, no. Any person that can incite terror on a person is a terrorist, plain and simple. What I'm saying is if they knew that they committed these crimes here in America, that they are going to be made a public showing by us showing like y'all, y'all, these pictures are crazy. Go look at the pictures. I'm not showing you. But if you commit a crime and they cut your ear off and try to feed it to you, as a regular criminal here in Illinois, I mean here in uh, I'm about to say Illinois, Florida, Missouri, Tennessee, I'm all over America. Do you think that can cause these people to change? Let's just say if they didn't get deleted, because I don't in Russia, I'm thinking these these men, they're not gonna live. One I'm thinking I die. If they get thrown in a Russian prison, I think that there might be people that have like a certain type of honor. There's like a prison honor code that if you got these people that are in Russia who are in prison for crimes they committed in Russia. But then yet they find out that their own land, their own home, got attacked by some terrorists. There's a prison code inside of uh, Russia. And to that, to the prisoners that might go there as terrorists, I'm just going to say Dostradania. Because that's what's about to happen. Dostradania. That's what happened. Uh-huh. That's exactly what. It won't be no Vasilis going on in there. None at all. There's probably an honor code. They're going to get y'all. At the same time, I don't know if any more of this torture is going to go on to the extent that they're just going to end up just deleting them. In other words, they're going to lose their life. So to summarize this, I'm leaving that up to y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say what I think on this one day. Some of y'all probably already know what I'm thinking. As far as terrorists goes, any, because the reason why I'm saying all this, y'all, because what if the same, what if this same type of revenge would happen to any illegals that would beat one of our own Americans to death to where she's unrecognizable. What if this same type of justice came to that individual? Would you be upset about it? Would you be mad? That's what all I'm saying. I said all this and showed y'all this whole video just to kind of lead to that conclusion. Why? Because we're probably going to see a whole lot more of that in America. We already had little children that has been sexually assaulted by these illegal immigrants. Would I be upset? Would I be mad if this same type of of justice came to these illegal immigrants who sexually assault our American brothers and sisters. If they beat our American brothers and sisters to where they are unrecognizable, huh? If they kidnap our own American brothers and sisters, our daughters and sons, would you be upset if this same type of thing happened to them and was made a public display? 
Well, we're the Americans. We don't do. Maybe you need to get back to it. So are you mad at Russia about this? I don't know what y'all thoughts is on this. Prayers to all the families and everybody that lost their lives over in Russia, whether you like Russia or not. Terrorists deleting people is not good because you can say that same thing. Well, Russia is just such a dick. Well, guess what? People said that about. People said that about Gaza. They said that about the Gaza area. They said it about Palestine. They said it about Palestine. Palestine is just this place where the women don't get that. They need to be. Israel is just this place. Every country probably got some issue that nobody likes and feel that if something like this happened, y'all won't care. Because I know a lot of people are like, good, that's what Russia gets. But then yet y'all get pissed off because innocent people are getting killed in Palestine. Innocent people who has nothing to do with what their country and how their country has been ran lost their lives. Just like here, y'all got pissed off when people praised and happy when the World Trade Center got attacked. Now, although these people don't like America, there were innocent people in those towers that lost their lives. Same thing here. So before y'all jump the gun about, well, that's what Russia get because Vladimir Putin. Well, that's what, guess what? These other countries said, well, that's what they get. George Bush was a, just telling y'all. So anyway, let me know what y'all thoughts is on this. And in particular, I want to know what y'all thoughts are about the public display that should be shown to us across TV. Like it should, like, what, what, what do y'all think if America just made it to where whenever something like this is going to go down, Every channel gets overridden, and they said, this right here is terrorist, blah, 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 blah. He beat Lake and Riley to that, to where she was unrecognizable, had probably had to have a closed casket funeral, and this is what you guys are getting ready to see. We're getting ready to snip the ear and feed it to him. We're getting ready to hook his genitals up and electrocute him. This is to send the message out to anybody else to think they want to do some type of crime on American soil. This is what you're going to be looking forward to. If you beat up a police officer, this is what might happen to you. You might not get the ear chopped off, but we definitely going to get the genitals. Do y'all think they had to change a whole lot of things up? But, oh, I know some of y'all tied. Jeez, I'm asking y'all the question and want you to answer it. And while you're thinking about that, hit that like button right there to see this video can be circulated within a YouTube algorithm. Get into those sales phones in your contact list. Let somebody know about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to this channel, all right? If you got social media platforms or that, please let somebody know about this channel. DM them and tell them, hey, go check out Modern Renaissance Man, all right? Appreciate that, folks. Yeah, I do want to hear what y'all got to say on this because this is going to be interesting. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.